Okay, today's adventure is Amber Cove. We're at um, Amber Cove, and this is in the Dominican Republic. And it is June the 14th, 13th. Hmm, okay, 13th. Uh, day four on the uh, Carnival Magic, uh, June 11th, 2017 cruise. This is a Carnival Corporation controlled location. Uh, this guidepost with pictures of what you're looking at is uh, right here in the, uh, as you come in. Shows you all the different things you can do here in Amber Cove. Nice, nice uh, picture guidepost. So Amber Cove here, and if you look right up in front of a ship there, right over the top of the bridge, you'll see the dock. That's where we're headed to. Uh, to dock the ship, and. Uh, this is the Dominican Republic here. Uh, you can't see it because of the way it's laid out, but when we came in and we're further away, the, there's some pretty high mountains here. Uh, I don't know what, I see a couple of beaches in there. We do not have a beach here at Amber Cove. It's a... Uh, there's plenty of beach uh, options on excursions you can go on, but it involves a little bit of a bus ride. I think the better beaches may be on the other side of the island. Uh, that right in there looks like a fairly nice beach. I don't know what that is. When, because of where we're going to dock the ship, I'll probably be able to get my other camera out and shoot it and put it in the video. So, anyway. And a little pilot boat still back there. I don't know why, but maybe he's looking to dock and come on board. Get some breakfast. Common practice. So anyway, we're off to get something to eat here. Seen enough ships die up over the days here now. Cruise 11. And when this is all said and done, it'll be 74 days at sea. Amber Cove, um, and this is going to be June um, 14th. We had a day at sea yesterday. Got to think about this. Six days goes by quick, people. Okay. And uh, this is a very nice place. Uh, try to get around and get video of all this because it doesn't seem to be a video. We're not going to talk about any excursions. Nut. Uh, this is strictly a day. Get off the ship, which is right there. This is the Carnival Magic today. Uh, I don't know what ship you'll be on when you come here. Um, nice restaurant. Uh, and then eat all kind of nice food. Now, that's not included. <laughs> Okay, you get a ch two chairs uh, here, it's included. It's $20, we pay $20 for that um umbrella, 20 bucks for the umbrella, and you have to pay for your drinks if you have a drink package on the ship that doesn't work here. I uh, can't give you the prices on the drinks yet, we're getting to that later, or soon. <laughs> And there's a kitty area, there is a water chute slide area, uh, there's a, a bar up on the top of the hill you can walk up to. Uh, try to get some more video of the various things and there goes another person on a, a zip line. So, uh, as we walk around today, we'll shoot some video, put it all together for you and let you see it. And of course, you got music. Plenty of people. Ship is sold out. This cruise. This is a June the 11th, six, six day cruise. Uh, it went to Nassau, Amber Cove, and we'll go to Grand Turks and Caicos tomorrow. Another beach stop. 
and we'll go from there. So, hope everybody enjoys this, and I would highly recommend it so far. Water is perfect. <laughs> this is definitely the warm one. And here we go. The Bee Gees were going to be dancing. Okay. Okay. So, uh, a little bit more outlook here. You can see out here in the uh, bay, we have people doing the uh, kayak, stand-up kayak thing. Those are cabanas out there that you can rent. I, I really don't know. I can't say. I see people in them. So I can't say if there's any extra ones. There's some up here on the hillside also. So, uh... Uh, well, I don't know if it's a case of uh, they'll be available too. Uh, kind of panning around all the way in a 360 thing here. Uh, that's where we were sitting before when I shot some video over there. So we're going to walk over here and I'm not going to try to walk and shoot. We'll piece this and edit it all together when we get home. Okay, some useful information. We did rent the uh, umbrella for the two chairs we have. It, you know, this is getting down here in the Caribbean. Uh, it's not as far down as you can go, but uh, during the summer and your ball, almost any time, this is the, you're going to get a lot of sun down here. And believe me, after 72 years, I'll tell you, you want to avoid as much sun as you can. All right, so wrench an umbrella to put over your chest, okay? All right, so I'm going to tell you right now, there is no beach here at Amber Cove. As you can see, um, there are excursions to beaches. If you want to take or go to a beach, but uh, this stuff is limited to what you can do out here in the bay. You have boats, there's a wave runner, kayaks got a bar out here so what do you want to do but there is no beach this would this would be another rental you could do uh, not the best shade situation okay so not too sure that may not be a rental it may just be there in these So forth. Well, of course, uh, the little vessel that got us all here, the uh, Carnival Magic. Okay. And we actually, our room is up there. Uh, on deck right below where it says carnival magic that's deck 10 and we're forward right about right under where the water slide is on deck 10. great road choice if you ever get a chance to take it 10 2 6 7 so and the thing everybody always asks we have bathrooms got plenty of bathrooms this is a smaller one but all first class okay Here they come. Okay, there's your zip line. One thing about this, and I've noticed this on um, other places where they're on, a, they're part of an island and not totally separated. Uh, this is true in Mahogany Bay, uh, even on Royal Caribbean's Libby. They close this off. There's a wall here for security. They don't want people in here. If you're not part of the working crew or you're not part of the uh, passengers, they don't want you out here. Solves a lot of issues and you can just use your imagination for that one. 
Okay, kids play area. The one on the ship is far better. But you know what? It's on the ship and this is down here, so you do with what they got. Uh, and this is really, really the little ones. They have other uh, slides and stuff we're going to get to here in a minute. More for the big kids. Uh, you know, this is for the little, little ones. And actually, I really only have a couple here that kind of fit them right age group, but uh, there's also a couple in this picture that I would say are a little bit on the big side. But, you know, they work that out. Oh, you want to play chess? There's the full size chess set, okay? You can sit here and play chess. Plenty, plenty chairs, and you get an out. You get the little man will bring you an umbrella. Kind of figure out when you get the chairs, and uh, the key to me here on this whole thing with the chairs and the umbrellas, got to figure out where the sun started at and where it's going to end at. Uh, you may end up doing a lot of shifting around to keep the sun off of you if you're sitting there. Okay. Now, this is kind of what, you know, I would say it was part of a lazy river deal, but it's not really a lazy river deal. There's no moving water, per se. But uh, this is real shallow, and then you can walk in, and you can see all the uh, people that have uh, gathered under the bridge over there <laughs> in the shade. Okay. Water is beautiful, really nice. Not, oh, believe me, it's up in the upper 80s. Uh, the body temperature goes, your body temperature at 90 some degrees. You know, anything in the lower 80s is going to be cold to it. So this, this water is, believe me, you walk right in, you don't even, you know, feels great. Uh, here we go. And this is the big rest area, restroom. Uh, just say I'm not going in to go inside and take a picture, but they're all first class, very clean, uh, very nice restrooms. So there it is. So very nice water slide. Uh, this is good, you know, five, six, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen kids, adults. Uh, this will work for just about anybody. You walk go up that ramp, up to the top, and uh, slide down. Kind of hoping we catch somebody come plunging out here. Uh, so, uh, there's a body. There's another body. So, two nice slides. Yeah. Nice activity here. Really nice. This area right here is called the VIP section, it includes an umbrella and some other amenities which I'm not sure about, but it's $125. You can walk up and get it when I mean, there was availability when we walked up. I'm sure you can book it as an excursion. Uh, then you have cabanas up here. These uh, have no, of course, direct access to the pools, but uh, there's your staircase walking down. And I guess you get the hammock too. So, this is nice. Now, I see an observation tower up there. And uh, there's a set of steps that say to the uh, hillside bar. So, we'll see if we can get a picture of that later. My wife says she's not climbing up there. Ain't gonna happen. Okay, so. And here we are back at the main pool and the main bar. So, all the alcoholic drinking friendly people and uh, wanna have fun here. This is definitely the right spot. Oh. Maybe not, not, not cover this. 
if you're in a wheelchair or a scooter or something and you need to be assisted, you can sit on that chair and they will bowl you right into the pool. Okay, so don't pass that opportunity up then. You can order your food right off the menu and these nice people will bring it to you. This is not included. You have to pay for the food, you have to pay for the drinks. Okay, not part of the cruise thing, i.e. Uh, on uh, Royal Caribbean, like at Levity, the food and your uh, lemonade iced tea is covered. It's part of the day stop. Same thing on Disney with the uh, castaway, it, uh, the food and uh, regular drinks are covered. If you buy any liquor drinks, it doesn't make any difference what cruise line you're on, they're going to charge you out here. We had a pina colada frozen drink and it was $8. So, point of reference, it comes in the cup, you see the guy sitting right there at the bar, same kind of deal, $8 and you get a drink. So, there it is, they have beer, beer was five, mixed drinks were eight. So, kind of a thing, you get the fancy cups and they got a other bunch of stuff you can get if you want to. There you go. So it says to go something lounge here. Let me figure that one out. Uh, you can come in here, sit, order your drink, order your food. Very nice. A lot of fresh air passing through here, fans, whatever. Big bar in the shade. A lot of open windows. First class. Nice place. A lot of people to help you. So, there it is. And hey, look, people, don't forget to tip them. Okay. Leave some of your money here. They'll love you for it. Your money goes about 10 times as far down here with these people than it does back home. So, make them happy. And there's some of the dignitaries. The head lady in charge. Okay, she's the boss. <laughs> All right. Up at the top is the bar and as you see some more cabanas you want to rent one up there uh, so uh, it's a walkway steps up there if you're into doing the steps climbing thing up to the top so see so this sky bar this is the way in here your entrance into it Another option here, uh, this would be a uh, excursion, Ocean World. It's going to be a trip somewhere to this place. So, another option. Not sure anything about these excursions, but you could look into it. And I'll bet you if you go look on YouTube, somebody's already put it up there, so there's an option. So, we have the uh, proverbial waterfall here shot. In the big uh, piece of amber in the background, which uh, is interesting. And Mimi's taking a drink of the last. So if we actually put those in the metal can, brought them off the ship this morning, and here we are about going on 1.30 in the afternoon. So, okay. So this is the shopping area. Of course, we have Diamonds International. You know, and uh, we have a Dusty. Uh, lots and lots of different shops uh, you know closed environment here so you're not going to be uh, too much in the hassle and of course there's the little carnival magic right there in the background okay this is out in the front here now uh, of the uh, shopping area and uh, we have some type of apartment so we I don't know if this is some resort or or rentals or what uh, not going to be something me is going to be interested in uh, 
don't think it's going to be fly in spent four or five days in the Dominican Republic. Uh, there are some very nice places I know I've seen, but uh, I wouldn't think this is one. And of course, we swing around here and you see the Carnival Magic. And uh, this is a bar of food and drink right here. And uh, outstanding uh, location. It's been a great day. We're going to give this, make sure this gets in the video, we're going to give this a big five stars here. Uh, get off the ship. Uh, if you're going to do like we did, we just did the whole Amber Cove shopping area thing. And uh, that was it for the day. And believe me, that's a full day. Ship is on board for us. It's 3 o'clock. So... Big five here, big five star on this stop. So, great day. Pool water was great. So, and I got a feeling everybody's hooked up to the Wi Fi. You know, they didn't have ship Wi Fi, so they came over here, they buy something. This is a good tip. You can carry that old cell phone with you. So, you can come to places like this and get on a Wi Fi, catch up with what's going on back home. They include the Wi-Fi if you order something. You use the old cell phone in case they're doing malware stuff. Doesn't make any difference. You're never going to use the phone again in normal use. So, there you go. Uh, and you can always refresh it and start from scratch anyway. There you go. Turtles wiggling their head at you. And of course, the sign says it all. Okay. So everybody's getting in the act. Everybody comes out here and gets their picture taken with the big sign. Now, being that this is a carnival thing, I don't know why they don't have a ship photographer out here shooting everybody and making a buck off of it because that's what the world turns on. You never know. You never know. All right, so enough with the walking down the aisle here. We get to the ship. We're going to get a good shot of the ship coming up. So, end this for right now.